pursue things, right? Yeah. How many people have pursued things in life? Yes. Right? Everybody, even becoming a 6A and an adjunct, it's like, it's like a goal, right? You guys, everybody's goal driven. I want to reach that goal. Even though that goal is not going to give you your happiness, but it's going to make you feel better, right? Because you're aggressive. And you want to reach a goal. You want to feel spending all this time, you know, sharing water and doing this and doing that. I mean, what, what am I getting out of this? I, I don't share the water. I never have. I tried that for about maybe a week and I said, forget this, you know? It's too much time. Because this isn't a business about sharing water. It's about a business that can do different things for you, that can get you a house. How many people want a house? But who, who would rather have this machine, this machine here, everybody wants this machine because it's sold, but who would rather have a water machine or a house? A uh, house. house, right? Yeah. If I says, I'll give you a water machine, it's, it's the best thing for your health. How many people would rather have the house? Door number one or door number two? Yeah. Two's got the house, one's got the water machine. Yeah, most people are going to take the house. Now, I've been a doctor for 25 years. I tell people you should do this for your health. They don't care about their health. Nobody cares about their health. Um, let's not do a lot of videotaping in here today, okay? Um, I don't want to be all over YouTube. Okay. I hate to be on YouTube because I, you know, I see myself on YouTube and I go, man, I wasn't cooking very good there. Um, <laughs> I didn't have my James Bond look. That yeah. um, so are you videotaping or? Yeah, but it's not on YouTube. Not I'm not going to put it on YouTube. Okay. Um, for informational purposes only. So I never say that the cane water cures diseases or cures cancer because it doesn't. It's water. All right. The main thing with, the, with this business is for you to get a house or for you to figure out what you need in life. And use this business for that. If you don't want to buy a water machine, go buy a golf membership. Go buy the Wukong. You know, go play golf. I like golf. How many people like golf? It's a cool sport, right? Make a lot of money in golf, right? So the achievement. And this is the one here. You see this green one here? This is where you learn your stuff. Like a lot of people, they learn about Enagic. Oh, it's the best product ever. It's going to cure cancer. It's going to cure arthritis. And they, and, and they hear all the stuff that it's going to cure, which it doesn't cure anything, but that's what they, and they get stuck in this, in this green, like you know everything's go green? Uh -huh. Well, they get stuck there. And they're going to go spill on the whole world about how great it is and it'll cure your cancer and cure your arthritis and everything is green, green, green and I'm going to share my... And they get stuck there and they never get over to this result. So they're stuck in the green space. You're going to save the world, right? You're going to save the world with an engine. But you're not saving yourself. Right? You're not saving yourself and you're not getting the original goal that you wanted to achieve. You achieved up here, but then you're stuck over here. Why is that? Why do you guys do that? That's the worst part you can get stuck. You're trying to tell people how, how to stay healthy and how to drink fresh, you know, breathe fresh air or do all this stuff, you know? Spilling on people, I call it. I don't even do that as a doctor because people don't care. They really don't care. They, they, if, you, if I tell you that you need to be healthy, who cares? I want to go get some Jack Daniels, man, and party. I don't care about that. I want to enjoy my life. I want to have a good time, right? I don't care about drinking water like 24-7, right? It's good water. I'll drink it if I have to, but it's not something that I'm focused on. I'm dwelling on. And everybody I meet everywhere. Pretty soon you're not going to have any more friends anymore because you're so green and so, like, yuck. Uh, I don't want to be around that person. You know what I'm saying? Vomiting on people all the time. So get out of that stage. And the next result, if you can get rid of this green crap here, you're stuck in that green stage, through, you know, going to like, you know, meetings and this and that. Start like branching out. You've already got your, your, your achieved a goal and you've got your degree. Let's say you're a 6A and you've got a degree. You know about the business or you've got a golf membership. Start figuring out what you want and get systemic results. Get the results that you want. Get your house. Get your house, get your business going. Your business isn't an adjunct business, get the business going. Get up where it's making you money so you can have the house. You can go buy the car of your dreams. So you can go out, you know, with your friends and have a jack and coat. All right? Hey, guys, uh, out of respect for our leaders that are speaking, let's let silence our phones so yes, that way our sure. focus can be on what they're sure. teaching us today. Yeah, just put them on vibrate. We don't want all these, like, weird, like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know like, so have these weird, like, 
you know, uh, like there's all kinds of different ringtones. Yeah. Right? Right. Uh, I like Gonzo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you want to eventually get to here. That's what, and then eventually, if you get to here, eventually you become powerful. Then you become like almost global independence. Then you can travel around the world. You can be like a guy like, like um, the guy who invented SpaceX, or you can be like a guy like, like Dr. Dave. Dr. Dave is. We, oh, like Dr. Dave is stuck somewhere up oh. in Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> Dale. Dale, I'm Dr. Dale. Yeah. But you want to get to a result where you can be, uh, Dr. Dave's a whole different story. Uh, but I like Dr. Dave. Um, yeah, I'm not Dr. Dave, I'm Dr. Dale. Uh, just change the, the L and the B. And the, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so, but this is like a guy like Donald Trump. Okay? Donald Trump went through all those stages. Or even any any world leader, you get to this stage. It's like, man, you you you've, you've done it. Like Cynthia, I mean, look at what Cynthia's done. You know, she doesn't look at it like she didn't get stuck in this like, you know, spilling on people about the green stage. She she went in her stages and then she moved and she's basically she can go anywhere in the world now. Mm -hmm. And she can do the magic business. That's the business she chose. But you see all those awards over there? Any business that she picked with, she went number one. Wow. Right? So this is, this is just a, this is this is just another business for her to use. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to tell you. For you guys, it's it's a business. It's a tool for you to use to get what you want. Yeah. It's not something you for you to like to dwell on and spill all over people and and spill your guts and vomit on people. Mm -hmm. All right. Use it as a tool to get your end result. So that's what I think we're trying to do now is change change the way we think about a magic. Think of an adjective as what it is for you. What can it do for you? I think for me, it's given me a lot of freedom. Because when I was locked up in an office being a doctor for 25 years, it wasn't any fun. I couldn't go to Hong Kong or travel over to the Philippines or you know Malaysia or go all these cool places on the planet. Because I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I didn't like that, so I had to change. So if you want to change and an adjective works for you, then make it work for you. If it doesn't work for you, find something that does. But it's really not about drinking the water. It really isn't. It's really, it's really, there, you know, Don's going to talk about this later, but there's there's three parts of this company. You know, there's there's our physical health, there's our, our mental health, and there's our financial health, right? We're, it seems like most of the people in Enagic are stuck on one health. What do you think that is? Physical, physical health, right? Mm -hmm. Well, whatever happened to the other three parts? Mm -hmm. Right. So I think we need to like change our mindset a little bit and get out of that that rut and start focusing more on um, on uh, all the three healths. I, you know, I, I know more. If, if I put ten million dollars in your account tomorrow, I guarantee you're not going to be focusing on trying to sell somebody a can of water machine. Right? Yeah, you're gonna yeah. I'm gonna go out and buy a freaking Maserati That's or right. something or a nice car, <laughs> and then I'm gonna go have a good time with my friends and I'm gonna party, right? Yeah. Something's gonna happen, but it ain't gonna be you're not gonna be selling one of these things. I guarantee you. How many people think that's true? It's true, it's true. It's true. I'm telling you. Go for the money. No money, no honey, right? Yeah. <laughs> you that saying, right? No money, no honey. <laughs> I would say, you know, keep keep the health in mind, you know, for yourself, but don't try to like, you know, ram it down people's throats because they don't care. People are people. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna go home and they wanna watch their type of you know news program, they wanna buy their type of clothes and they're gonna eat their type of food. So you can't change people. So that's my one slide. I'm gonna bring up uh, Don next. Hopefully you'll remember some of that because that's a really good slide to, to remember. It's a very good slide to remember because you can look back at that and you can think of what stage you might be stuck in. Right, right. Thank you. Thank you. So Dale, I have two on uh, uh, YouTube I want to show a video. How can I get it onto there? Oh, okay. Uh, can I play it from yours? Yeah, we can. I don't know if I have any sound on this thing right now. Um, no, I don't have any sound. I don't have a sound right now. Okay, thank you, Lord. I'm 
going to have to be the sound guy. See the Kanjan family? Kanjan family. There you go. It means we're all going to be rich. <laughs> Hi, Miss Loretta. In this, in this picture, we're going to be here. All right, guys, you ready? Yeah. Thanks to Dr. Dale. We appreciate that. Our sponsor is incredible. You guys can get a lot of content. I know about everything there. To do something pretty much impossible. <laughs> no, no way out. Okay, so I gotta do something impossible. <laughs> impossible. All right. Which way is the best way? This, this year, I think that way. This way okay, is much better. But for a line at least a little, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so get this, get this. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've been in that for 11 years. Uh, I started as Mr. Osiro's interpreter, and now I work um, as the trainer's trainer. So I train the other trainers. Let me tell you our issue at Enagic. We have a big issue. Nobody really yet understands what Enagic is. And I was on the phone two nights ago with Mr. Oshiro, and he said, how come they don't get it? I said, well, when you say the word it, when you think it, what you sell, what do you think of? You've been duped. You've been tricked for 11 years. You tricked you. You tricked you. That is what's holding back the magic. So I have something really impossible to do. In an hour, I have to get you to stop selling. In one hour, I have to convince you to stop selling. By doing that, I can build all of your teams overnight. Now you think, that doesn't make sense, Don. Because everywhere I've ever been, people have said, if you sell a lot of crap, you'll get to the top. Right? But take a look at all the pictures around the room. Just take a look. Go ahead and scan them. Do you see a single machine in any of those pictures? Wow. No. 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 Why? Why not? They're selling crap, right? Right. Where's the machines? <laughs> what do you see? Smiling, smiling faces, faces, people bonding, right. having fun, mm -hmm. getting together, going on a trip. Everybody's smiling. How come they're not serious? Holding a conga water machine. This is science. <laughs> I think we have to reorient an adjective. Okay. I don't think you need or want help. I don't think you need or want wealth. I think you need and want positive relationships in your life. Think of everything you've ever done in life. You are focused on happiness. Mm. Yes, right? You are focused on happiness. If you are here to sell kind of water machines, we love you, thank you, but you burn out. You burn out. A year, yes. two years, you're out of here. I've seen people yes. come in and come out. I've seen ex-networkers come in. The best sellers in the network burn right through that because they don't get what it's about. Please understand Mr. O's beginnings. Okay, he's a humble guy, walked barefoot to school during the war. Right? None of us have lived through World War II. He did. They were bombing his home country. All of his brothers and sisters died of malaria. The kid did not grow up under great beginnings. But because of that, he didn't say, wow, you know, the future of my life is just to develop Kanye water around the world and I'll make everybody happy. He didn't care. He wanted to liberate people from whatever held him back. Now, I want you to think, just close your eyes for a second, say, what is the one dream I have not accomplished yet? Or just one thing. So you have something in mind? Yeah. Some, some big epic goal that you want to accomplish. And I, now, I don't know what it is. But I'm going to guess, because we're all going to raise our hands here, that there's three buckets. One bucket would be, I want to be massively healthy and do 50 push-ups a minute and have a blood pressure of this and have a heart rate of that. That's one bucket. The second bucket is I want to be massively wealthy. I want to have this car, this house, this whatever. And then the third bucket is I want to have tons of friends, be happy, send my kids to college, do whatever. I'm just going to guess that most of you are going to fall into buckets two and three. Mm -hmm. I don't know that yet. Right? You can trick me, you can do
do anything you want. But if I was to ask you who falls into bucket one, who would really fall into bucket one? My main goal is physical health. I want to outdo Arnold Schwarzenegger. Who would be in that bucket? Oh, interesting. Not a single person raises their hand. We already here. We already here anyway. Huh? We already here anyway. Right. And who falls into bucket two? It's financial, Don. I want to yeah. have the house. My okay, good. You're being honest. I like yes. it. Yes. Now, who would fall into bucket three? I want to be massively happy, make tons of friends, travel yeah. the world, blah blah blah. Okay. So, I would say that 60 percent. 40% and zero. Would you agree? Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Please remember those numbers. This is what we call the third health. Yeah? Right? The third health, what I'm going to call relationship health. Right. We call it peace of mind and mental health. And I don't like those words. I don't like them because it makes us seem like we're psychologists. Right? So I'm going to call it relationship health. When your relationships are happy, are you happy? Yes. Yeah. When your relationships suck, what happens in life? Suck. Life sucks. Life sucks. Life sucks. Life sucks. Life sucks. Life sucks. It just does. And your relationships have that much of an impact. So remember that number. About 60% of you fell into this bucket. 40% of you fell into this bucket. Zero fell into this bucket. Why then do we market this? Wow. All of you are out there marketing this, but you just prove to yourself that you want this and this. So if you guys are respectful of, of the general public, let's just say you guys are a smattering. You're pretty average, right? If, if we can say that 60 and 40 percent are over here, it's 100 percent. You know who you're marketing to, right? Other people who want exactly what you want. Why do you market this? So what's your name? Robert Hernandez. Robert, Robert comes to my car lot. I own a car lot, right? I say, Robert, I have just the pink and orange Cadillac convertible. <coughs> 1963 that you're looking for. He said, but Don, uh, no, no, wait. And if you buy it today, it comes with a special AM radio and a cassette player. He said, Don, but wait, there's more. If you buy it today, it comes with gold tires. That's the car for you. That's the car that you need. Would he be happy? No. But I, but no, no, wait. I know cars better than you do. I'm a car expert. I know it's right for you. Mm -hmm. How does he feel? Um, bad. So yeah. Pretty bad. Now, Robert, I have just the water for you. You don't know enough about water. I know everything about water. This water's the right one for you. How does he feel? Awesome. Exact yeah. same way. Yeah. That's the way you're marketing. <laughs> so instead of that, instead of, remember, I have three things that I can be successful with in an adjunct. Physical health, financial power, in relation to health. Those are my three buckets. Before I go to Robert and I tell him which bucket he needs, what should I do? Ask him. Ask him. Robert, what do you need out of life? Don, I need this, 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 and this. Great. Let's divide that up, see where it falls into here, and let's deliver that to you. Let's make a custom package for you. Now, I'm selling Robert's success. Is that worth four grand? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Is it worth 40 grand? Yes. Yep. I'd pay for $100,000 for that. Right? So if you sell the other person's success, price will never be an issue for you. If you sell devices, I never call it machines. A machine is a washing machine. This is a device we call it LAD. You ever heard of that? Light altering device. Right. All right? Never call it a machine. That belittles the thing. Right? And I never use the word the water. That makes it sound like you guys are in a cult. <laughs> oh, do you drink the water? <laughs> call it Kanye water. We paid millions of dollars for that brand name. Call it Kanye water. Don't call it low water. It makes you seem really creepy when people hear that. Do you eat the steak? Yeah, I eat the steak. <laughs> so, don't talk like that. so if we can learn one simple, simple thing, we're gonna teach. Uh, where do I have an eraser here, Dale? Uh, uh, over there. Like, I think I can change your mind in 20 minutes. And then the pen would be hot. Okay. Um, what's the deal? I don't know. Why don't we just turn off? I don't think we need to Just take the white one there. Press the off button. Okay. Who here has ever been on a date in your whole life? If you're married, you went on a date. <laughs> if you have kids, you dated, okay? So, if you understand the art of dating, 
you can do really good internet. If you don't understand the art of dating, you probably won't do well here. You're thinking, no, Don, but I really sell well. We don't need salespeople in an adjective. We need expert daters. And here's why. If you understand how to date, you'll do wonderful here because the art of networking, that's what you're doing. Mr. O calls it HBM, human-based marketing. The most important part of marketing is the human aspect. Other people come from an LBM background. Anybody ever worked retail? Starbucks, you worked at a subway? That's location-based marketing. So why did you stop into that Starbucks? You were in the area. Why did you go to that Macy's? How come you didn't fly 6,000 miles to, to Germany go to their Macy's? Because it was location-based. So this is not the business that you're in. That's why, to me, people that open up water stores are crazy. Yeah. You totally misunderstand an adage to have a water store. It's totally not our market. Because you're expecting foot traffic to walk by. Your, your market is human-based marketing. Right? With the internet nowadays, you can have a client uh, Lily can meet somebody in Africa on Facebook and bring them into a Nagic. I never say have them buy a machine. Do you see the difference? Here's a neat thing. Segue off of this for a second. People come to the Torrance office all the time. Say, Don! Great news! I say, what's up? Fred, Bob, Sally, whatever your name is. You say, last night I sold a machine to my friend. And I say, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? I sold a machine. I'm like, yeah, that's just a problem. You sold the machine. What's the subject of that? I sold a machine. What's the subject of the sentence? Uh, I. I. It's all about me, right? Right. I'm the most important thing in the whole world. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. Obviously not. What did you do? You sold. Ugh. If you come from network marketing, you know that these two words, mm -hmm. those are four-letter words. Mm -hmm. Those are like swearing. <laughs> sell and s people don't like to be sold to. And what did you sell? A machine, oh my god, that kills my heart. Right. <laughs> to who? We don't know. It's at the end of the sentence, right? What if you took that same sentence? Zidane, great news! Last night, Sally joined my Enagic team. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the most important person there? Sally. Sally. What did she do? Join. She joined the team. That's exciting. That's interesting. Yeah, that's and it's the exact same thing happened. Now, last night, Sally sat down. She filled out the paperwork. She is going to get one of our products. We understand that. But how you speak is how people vibrate to you. Right? How you speak. Right? In Japan, we have a word called shingo. It means true word. And if you use certain words, people vibrate closer to you. It means true. If you use yeah, true word. True word. This means, this means true. Shingo. Yeah, that means word. So this is shin. And this is gone. Shingo. So if I use certain words, she will get close to me. She will feel comfortable with me. She'll feel valued. She'll feel that I want to get to improve your life. If I use certain other words, she goes away. You notice that, right? Right. You notice that a lot with your friends. With certain yeah. friends, I have you ever read a book called right. The Five Love Languages? Yes. David Chapman? Yes. yes. Read it. Read it ten times. What's the name? Uh, David right. Chapman, The Five no. Love Languages. Get to know how people vibrate. Right? Because at the end of the day, you guys are interviewing people. Your, your market is a cold market, yes? Everybody already sold to their parents, I'm sure. Yes. Everybody already... Ticked off most of their friends. Yeah. 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 Your, your real market is cold market. Right? We used to teach a couple techniques where we would just sit in Ubers, grab an Uber, and close the driver. No demo, nothing. It's a five minute close. Right? Wouldn't you rather want to close somebody in five minutes than spend 30 days? Is demoing water, and then at the end say, "Well, what do you think?" The most overused line in network marketing. Right? Well, what do you think? What do they always say after that? Well, I need to think about it. There's something negative. Yeah, I need to think about it. It's the wrong color. I don't drink water. My wife doesn't like it. Um, no, there's some excuse. But if I'm really interested in his success, does he say, well, not that success, that's just not for me. I don't want to be successful. You know, this boring, dull life that I lead, that, 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 that's it. That's the thing for me. Nobody says that, right? 
So set up yourself for success. So if this is our true market, this HBM market, right? And we'll get back to the art of dating. If that's really what you're here to do, let's just go over three parts. It'll be the most important thing you learn, I think, today. Ida. Easy to remember. A I D A. Super super simple. A I D A. Ida. This stands for attention. This stands for interest. It stands for desire. It stands for action. Okay? So just remember these ones. A I D A. Okay. This is how you fall in love. Like, Ooh, this is like seminar number two. This is advanced in magic, right? But if you understand this, you understand how to close people. For me, closing means close the relationship. Or bond. It doesn't mean selling. If you don't close a relationship, you can't sell. Do you see how they, they go hand in hand? I don't know who sold those shoes to you. You probably don't even remember. Right? You don't remember because you just bought them. The shoes, I needed those boots, I needed that shirt, I needed those earrings. There was no connection, but I guarantee you know who brought you into a magic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you know who your sponsor is? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Why? You have a bond with that person. Mm -hmm. You're not selling a product. You're selling or creating an atmosphere for success. Right. Totally that we have to totally turn people's mind around. Let's look at Ida. When you dated a person, when you're getting ready to go out on a date, to get their attention, what did you do? Did you dress nice, did your makeup, you look nice, didn't pick your nose, didn't do anything like that, right? right? Because you gotta look good. You can do the makeup too, man. Can do makeup. But this in a magic, how do you get somebody's attention? Well, number one, the Kanye water demo is very visual, yeah? Right. When you saw water change color. And you saw oil and water mix, where you like kind of like, this is some wild stuff. Yes. How do you, you don't get that same excitement with lotions and potions and shakes and <laughs> lipsticks, right? right? So number one, you have a very visual demonstration. It works. This, an adjunct distributors, I give you an A+. Plus. You do this very well. You get their attention, and then what do they want to know? They want to know more information. When you go out on a date, when we date for the first time, and I say, hi, my name is Don, here's my resume, I like chocolate, not vanilla ice cream, um, I love this kind of movie, not that, I give her my whole life. What does she feel? Overwhelmed. She's like, I didn't ask for all of that. I want to get to know you little by little. Right? So you get interested in people little by little. You don't hand them your whole resume. Unfortunately, magic distributors get a minus here. Your demo is too long. You give an 18-hour demo because you want to answer every possible question they can ever ask. I got to cover everything because they might ask this. And close right I away. Cover that. And half you don't notice half people are asleep. Yeah. Well, your demo, the best demo I've ever seen was done in Malaysia. It was 12 minutes long. Wow. And they said, but but does it cure? They were like, I don't know. Try some. Next question. Uh, I have X, Y, Z. Does it work? Oh, no, try some. Uh, my mother has this. Does it work? Oh, no, try some. That was their answer to everything. Wow. 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 Nice. Wow. Yeah. And ask you a question. Sure. You just said you can close someone five minutes as an Uber driver. Yep. They haven't seen the demo to pick their attention. And that's the so right way. So you're, you're going back to starting the demo and then going to the business. This, so we're going to go so conventional going first, backwards? then we're going to go unconventional. The conventional way first, what we're doing now. This is what we're doing now. Okay. This is what we're doing now. So imagine, you guys, most of you, you show a demo. I forget your name was. Echo. Echo. So I come to Echo's house. I have the best product in the world. I'd love to show it to you. Can I come in? She says, no. I push her aside. And I say, I need a demo. You and your husband. And we go through the demo. You do it all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Right? A lot of time people are turned off by it, but we do it anyways. Right. But it's kind of like I was telling Dale. If Cynthia has 18 bathrooms, in this house. It's a gorgeous house, right? Wow. She has 18 bathrooms, and I go into every bathroom, and I change the toilet paper to purple toilet paper. And I say, this, this toilet paper is the best out there. I don't know, well, now I'm a toilet paper expert. I can study. I'm on PubMed every day. I know every PubMed article about toilet paper. And you, you don't know about toilet paper. So I go in and I put every single toilet paper in there. How is she going to feel? Kind of turn off, right? Yeah. But we can't barge into somebody's house and say the same thing either. So we have to change that thinking. 
So this we get a little bit of a demerit for. Unfortunately, we totally bypass this. We don't work on this at all. This is going to be our focus for today. Mm -hmm. And we jump right to here. This is what we say, ask for the sale. Mm -hmm. Right? In an adjective, you don't need to ask for the sale. It doesn't happen. If, if his success is my, is my product, he will say, Don, how can I get involved? He won't say, Don, how can I buy one? There's a big difference, right? Right? When you're talking to your mentor, do you say, um, I'd like to buy your next product? You say, no, no, what should I do? What's the next course of action? How can I be successful? That's what we're going to work on. So here's an example of how this works in the real world. So if anybody's been through a spree, you've already heard this a hundred times, so you'll know. But ladies, you like jewelry, right? Yes. All the girls here, you like jewelry. Yes. I don't know, what's a famous jewelry shop in your area of the world? Tiffany's. Tiffany's. Oh, okay. Tiffany. Where, okay, where are they? Are. Do I find them at the mall or someplace like that? No. no. Or where are they? Yeah, very unique question. Yeah, very unique question. Okay. okay, when I go to a Tiffany's outlet, do they have a tiny little window that I have to peer in to look at the jewelry and go, you know, find no. it? No. No, they have a huge, huge window. It's perfectly shined. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the, the jewelry is all laid out on those cool little things mm -hmm. that are glowing and they have special lights. Why do they do that? Mm -hmm. To attract. To get yeah. your attention. Yes. 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 Do they do a very good job? Yes. yes. Yeah, 100%. They get your attention very well. Yeah. Now, so that they can build desire, what do they do with the price tag? Yeah, because if you saw it, you run. Right? So they turn over that price tag. What do you got to do if you want to find out? You got to open the door. You got to go in. And you got as soon as you get close to turning it over, what happens? A woman wants this. Somebody, yeah. She's right there. Right. I mean, she's from the, from out of nowhere. A woman's there. Right, right now. Because she's already, you've already got interest, so they, they already accomplished this. Now, be careful, be careful. If that woman is a unbelievable amateur, she will say, "That's three thousand nine hundred eighty dollars." Why did I pick that? Is that the price of the That's the price of the one. Right? Oops, sorry. This should go here. If she's an amateur, she'll tell you the price. Mm -hmm. If she's a pro, she'll go right here. She'll go to nice. desire. She'll say, "That ring you just picked out." Oh my God, let me talk to you about that ring. <laughs> let me tell you about this ring. The day you put that on, you and your husband, you're going out for dinner. You're going to stroll in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going to stroll into the restaurant. Every single person in the restaurant is going to say, Oh my God, she looks good. My God, they look wonderful. It must be the ring. She looks gorgeous. <laughs> you're going to sit down. You're going to have the best meal of your life mm -hmm. and you're going to be in love with your husband you're going to have just an amazing amazing mm -hmm. night what did she just build you're not i mean no but we all know rings are not worth as much as they charge no yeah. it's right. a piece of metal an old rock that's been under pressure for a thousand <laughs> yeah. years why do we give that thing value because of a desire of work. but if you don't build more of this if you just jump to here's a cool product I know you have your questions asked. I want you to buy one because you're going to get healthy. Mm. They don't have any desire to change their life. Yeah. Right, so what's the motto of the company? Change, change your water, water change, change your health. Life. Right? Life. Change your water, change your health. Right? Wait. Change your water, change your health. Life. <laughs> <laughs> life. Why, wait, 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 wait. Why, did, why did the old man pick that word? Why did Mr. O keep change your water, change your life? Why did you say not just about your health? Yeah. Exactly. But why do we market that? Yeah. Why do we market it? Change your water, change your health. Why? Change your water, change your keys. Yeah. 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 I mean, change your water, change your zip code. Where do you want to put But please remember that Mr. O developed a magic. He didn't develop Kanye Water for this. He developed a magic to change lives. And if you can build this, and here's an example for it. What did you get? Robert. So Robert. Robert comes to sit down. You know, I want to build this business. I love the product. It's fantastic. I said, well, wait, Robert. What do you need to get done in life? He said, well, I want to, I always want to travel. And I want to, are you married? No. I want to find a wife. I want to do this. Right? I said, Robert, before this happens, can you imagine the first couple of checks you get, we're going to put those away for a travel fund, and then you're going to meet somebody in an adjunct. I start creating a lifestyle for him. 
You're building value every single minute, building value. So at the end, he says, I'm not buying a product, I'm changing my life. And if you can start to market that way, mm -hmm. you understand Mr. Oshiro. Wow. You understand Mr. Oshiro. Mm -hmm. He wanted to free people. Remember, pretend my leg is chained to this chair, all right? We always say, I want to be free from this, right? Mm -hmm. I want to be free from diabetes, from arthritis, from whatever it is. I think it's a lie. I think you want to be free to do whatever's over here, right? If you have arthritis, what can you not do? Right. You can't go running, you can't uh -huh. go hiking, you can't play ball with your friends, mm -hmm. um, can't climb stairs, but that's what you really want. But we market, well, you'll be free from arthritis. But that's, that's, that stops. That's fine. That's not the real goal. That's why I say I don't think you want physical health. You want what physical health can give you. And if you can start talking more about this, hey, imagine when you're healthier and wealthier and you're able to spend more time with your husband and more time with your kids, she's going to start imagining this stage. And she's going to start making up a visualization in her mind of something she wants. Mm -hmm. This is so missing in an agony. So desire is really the visualization of what yeah. I don't know why, but desire has a really bad reputation in America. We think of it as carnal, or we think of it as selfish. No. no. Your desires are why you're actually here. Maybe one of your desires is to help other people. That's a magnificent thing. Yeah. But don't be afraid of your desires to get things done. Because think of it, if you are destitute and you don't have anything in your pocket, how are you going to help anybody else? Right. I've been in Nagy for four years, I'm still 1A. What's up with that? What happened? Well, I just wanted to care more about other people than me. No. Go be massively successful. <laughs> Cynthia Briganti can put on a spread, she can have this house open. Why? Because of her success. What if she was stuck as a 3A? After 10 mm -hmm. years in an education, none of this existed. None of you would be sitting right here asking, how can I change my life? Mm -hmm. I don't think any of you are here to say, how change your water, change your health. If you are, that's a different seminar. And I wondered, uh, we, we spoke about this last night, if we offered two seminars today, one was in the upstairs room, and it was done by three doctors, and they were going to talk about hydrogen and barium and chichimium and habidubidium and whatever. <laughs> I'm a psychologist. I mean, I don't know diddly about uh, science. So I'm a brain guy. I have no idea what happens head to toe. My stuff works. Everything works. So if we had that seminar upstairs, and we had a seminar downstairs that was about making money and changing your life, which would you attend? Making money. And again, if that's what you would do, why are we marketing change your water, change your health? So you've got to ask yourself, what has been my go-to market so far? Well, I, I had a brochure, and I talked to people about common water, and they told me no. And I went to somebody else, and I talked about water, it's really going to be good for you. And they told me no. So I said, well, I'm going to change this up. Um, I have a good product, I just want you to try it. Well, they told me no. What did we do too much of? Just product. It's not product. Just product. You didn't offer what was going to change their life. Here's the weird thing. Who wants this world to change? Right? Who wants to, who wants to personally do the changing? Fewer hands go up, right? I would be happier if you would just change. My life would be much better if you would just change. Isn't that what you say in your relationships all the time? Yes. Honey, if you'll just change, our marriage would be much better. How effective is that in building relationships? Right? So if you want to offer that to other people, you've got to say, what in my life needs to change? And get this: Are you are you happy being mediocre? No. no. Is the life that you're leading right now? I'm going to call it the epic life that you deserve. Mm -hmm. Is your life epic enough? Are you getting control? Are you making the changes in your life that you really know that you're worthy of? I think most of us say no. No, I'm not living up to my true potential. So we've all got to up that game. Okay, a couple ways we can do it. Any questions on this? You're good to go? Ida, please remember, it's all over my Facebook. I have tons of slides here. We can give you all this later. But if you can remember these four stages, this is how you've done everything in your life. When you paid attention to that car, why did you pick the car that you did? Something got your attention. 
You went online, you found out some videos of it, you started to watch it, and that's going to be good. Me going down the 405, well, not down the 405. Uh, PCH. And you're driving down PCH, the wind's going to be flowing, everybody's going to be looking at me. Boom, you pulled the trigger. But shallow things that you've done in your life, you've gone from here to here. Shallow things. I mean, those shoes, how would it take you? 10 minutes to pick those out? I like them, you saw them. Well, okay. I mean, I don't know, did you go on Craigslist and see if you get a cheaper pair? Did you look up the Amazon reviews on them? Did you go price shopping? Did you compare other shoes? Did you imagine yourself walking in those shoes? <laughs> oh my God. Did you go through all the stages? Probably not, because it's buying a pair of stinking shoes. Right? So, so those are the things that are just provisional. We just got to get it done, right? Um, an example of a provisional product is a fire extinguisher. There's a code someplace that you have to have so many fire extinguishers per room. You buy one, you don't get the best fire extinguisher. You don't research the heck out of them. You got to get it stamped. You got to put it on the wall, right? But the joining in magic's not that way. You're going to move through these stages. If you get really good at moving people through these stages, you will then be a recruiter, not a seller. Mm. Big difference. Recruiter uses language like, God, yesterday, Billy Bob joined my magic team. That's the kind of language they use. Sellers come out and say, yesterday I sold a K-8. I say, oh, dang. Sorry to hear that. Right? So you've got to say, which do you want to be if you want to be a seller, it's going to be a long road in Agile, right? Very, very great 6A. How many direct sales do you think they have? Remember how many 6A? 101, right? Yeah. How many direct sales do you think the real good ones have? Seven. Yeah, seven, eight, nine. Somebody comes to me and says, Loretta, out of that 101, I sold 90. And you're like, sold 90? Oh, man. Go do that again. They're like, can I do all that over again? Oh yeah, you're a good seller. So out of those 90, right, if, she, if, if, she's, if I sold 90 machines, that means that 11 people became successful in an agent. 90 didn't, right? Because I did all the work. I didn't empower my downline. I sold, 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 so nobody grew in power. Isn't your job to empower all 101 of them? Yes. Isn't that your real mission? But if you just teach them to be salespeople, and then it's a one-off, finished. Finished. Mm -hmm. Finished. Man, I think you're robbing them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? I think they're robbing them. So a lot of people come to the office and say, well, you know, I can't talk about the business to people. Why not? Well, I don't want to lose the? So, sales. Yeah, think about that. Mm. Think about that for a minute. I can't talk about the money because I don't want to lose the sale. Wow. Play with that sentence all day today. Think about this. Oh my God, he's right. I didn't talk about the business because I didn't want to lose the sale. Man, that should that should make you a little pissed off. Wow. Right? That should anger you. Like, yeah, he's got a point there. I didn't talk about the business because I was too busy selling. But who am I to decide? You know, who's Don Prosser to decide for Robert which of the three helps that Robert needs? Right? If there's three, Mr. O's adamant about this. If there's three healths, <coughs> who am I to say to Robert, Robert, you don't need this, you don't need this, this is what you need, right here, physical health. Because when I gave the water to my dog, it turned into a cat. <laughs> that's it, that's it, yeah. And I saw a guy, he has stage 47.6 cancer, and it cured him. Yep, that's what it is. And Robert, that's what you need. He's not gonna, he's not gonna, we're not going to vibrate well together. Yeah. But what if I say, you know what, we got something for everybody. Before I tell you about all of this, tell me about you. And he said, well, these are a couple of things that need to have happen done. I need to focus on this. The money's a little tight these days. Gosh, I'd love to improve my relationships with people. Yeah, you know, I could get a little healthier too. Fantastic. If we could prioritize one of those, if you had a crystal ball and you could look into it, and you could change one of them tomorrow, which would you change? Well, Don, I changed this. Okay, let's start there. We can move to those, but let's just start here. And what if we made his dreams come true for that area? Then we move to this area, move to this. I think we can have them all. And I think of all the people I've ever met in my life, Mr. O has the best balance of all three of these. He is super healthy. 76 years old. Looks 50. Drinks a gallon a day. 
walks, exercises, eats well, doesn't overdrink. That's the thing I think a lot of people think, well, I drink Kanye water so I can smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. <laughs> and I can eat whatever I want. No way. No way. So he's very healthy, uber compassionate heart. I know he donates more money to charities than mm -hmm. I can imagine. And he's very well off. Very well off. So well off that he can pay you guys 72%. Wow. That's your <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. Think about that. So when you come to the company and say, well, how come we don't have a Mercedes? Oh, would you like a Mercedes? Okay, we'll cut this to 50. And I'll give you a Mercedes. We have the money. We just choose to give it to you. If you want a Mercedes, buy your own. Pick your own color. Do it yourself. Yeah, so don't come to the company and say, well, I want you to donate to charity. We already did. We gave you the money. We expect you to donate 10% to charity. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the he was told me. He said, he said, they can spend their money better than you can. I said, that's right. Other MLMs will trick you. They'll pay about 47%. This is Melody Luka. They'll pay 47%, but then they'll have a trip to Hawaii. Right. And you've got to compete to get it. Baby, it's yours already. <laughs> it was already yours right here. 72%. They just gave it back to you, and you think that you're so lucky. Mm -hmm. You think you're so lucky. You guys just vacationed where? Before, um... Fort Hong Kong? Yeah, Fort Hong Kong. We go all over the place. Okay, so, so let's say they went to Country X. They won a free trip from Magic. just they decided where to take the trip. But it was inside this money. Do you get that? Well, let's see, we were in Japan, yeah. over in Okinawa. You can, you can travel anywhere you want. Then we were over in Hong Kong. Yeah. So they did get the trip. They did oh, They did get the Mercedes. Yeah. It's parked upstairs. They just got to pick the color. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So don't misunderstand these other companies are giving you something. It was yours to begin with. Right. They just gave it back to you in another shape. So even when people come to the company and say, well, I want to sponsor this blah, blah, blah. We want some donations. We say, go to your distributors. They have, that's that's why Enagic is so different. It's not just like you go there. If you get that, you'll do you well. Yeah. So back to these three healths. I think the most effective thing you can do, remember, we're all here to build a team, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. If you say I'm here to make money, you won't make money. First build a team, then you will make money. Mm -hmm. One comes before the other. Get good at personal relationship skills. If you had two hours a day to improve your Enagic business, and you said, well, I can study PubMed, I can go to a science course, I can study finance, or I can study psychology, I would say study psychology. Yeah. Get to know how people think, how they react, which way of interacting gets them closer to you. Go ahead and compliment somebody every time you meet them. You like compliments, right? Mm -hmm. right? Compliment every single person you meet, even the guy bagging your groceries. Geez, Bob, that was a great, that was a great job, man. Thanks for doing that for me. You look great today. Oh my God, nobody's ever told me that. Next time you go in there, I'll say, well, what do you do? Aha. Mm -hmm. The art of complimenting should be high on your list. Mm -hmm. You want to have people vibrate immediately to you. Now, guys, you got to be careful. You can't say, you look good. <laughs> 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 you right? right? got to be careful on how you do it. So, the most important thing about a compliment is it has to be genuine. It has to be actual. What if I said this? Oh, you look great today. Oh. She doesn't mean that. Yeah. Right? There's no eye contact, there's no connection between the people. Learn connection skills, you'll do great in an adjective. You don't need to know anything about science. You don't need to know anything about hydrogen, molecular this, molecular that, PubMed. Anybody heard Mr. O speak on stage? Yes. Yeah, maybe YouTube, maybe I was translating, somebody else was translating. Have you ever heard him talk about science? No. Did he ever draw a diagram of him? Electrolysis and this and that. Have you ever heard him talk about any? Well, he gets on stage and he says, Are you drinking coffee and water? Takes a gulp and talks about social issues. That's right. Society, how are we going to change the world? You got to understand, Mr. O is much more Gandhi than he is Steve Jobs. Wow. He's much more visionary than he is CEO. But he just happens to be the CEO. But he's got a vision. He wants to bring all of you along for the ride. But it's way up here. I mean, epic level. We're having a big thing where we're changing the company. Um, this is gonna, you're gonna find out about this on Monday. Oh, the but, old but, goal. But you're gonna tell us now? I'm gonna share with you. So <laughs> much. You get, you get the secrets of the thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I'm 
and say, give away. Okay. <laughs> no, no, we won't tell you. This used to be the old goal of the company, right? We used to say, we're going to sell 20,000, and then you guys said machines, which just killed the art. But we used to say 20,000 units, right? Yes. I had a big talk with Mr. Oshiro a week ago, and I said, this goal is bad. This goal is going to damage our company. I said, what do you mean? What do you mean? I said, uh 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 uh. We have to change this. This. Um, 20,000 families. We've got to get back to the human aspect of an agile. Yes. Amen. Now, here's how we can do that. If we impact 20,000 families, you know, the average family in the United States is 2.5 people. I don't know where that 0.5 person is. <laughs> even if this was 2.5, do you know how many people that is? 50,000. This is the, the, the 50,000 people will be impacted monthly. Wow. Okay, pretty cool number, right? Now I guarantee those 50,000 people might talk about an adjective to at least two people a month, right? At least two people. What's that? So just with this math, we went from 20,000 units to 100,000 people a month influence. Which is better to you? I would rather influence more people than sell more machines. Right. So yes. one more time. Mm -hmm. I would rather influence people positively. Remember, we're not selling nuclear weapons here. <laughs> Nobody is getting hurt. Right? This is not a bad product. It's a wonderful product. As a matter of fact, if we called it 100,000 people investing in an agic, your teams will grow. But if we stick up here for months and months and months, mm -hmm. these things are moving. What I want to move is this thing. Mm -hmm. I want to move this thing, your heart. This is cool to move. I want, I want this on every counter in the world, every household, right? So I don't think we sell to sick people. I think we sell to counter sinks. And I've never seen a sick sink. Have you? <laughs> no. no. So every sink in the world is your potential client. Think of it that way. Don't think I just have to sell to sick people, right? Just say, wow, instead of 20,000, let's move it to here. And he actually loved this math. He said, you're right, because it's about families. But influencing families. How's that sound to you? Mm -hmm. cool. You've got to vibrate at the same frequency as this. You have to start putting this into right. your presentation. Not this exact math. I don't care how you explain it. But you've got to say, listen, we impact people. If you say we improve health, you got back to this. You got back to just one slice of the pie. And why would you want to take this other two-thirds out? Why? Why steal from your potential partner? I try never to say client or customer. It makes it sound like they bought a pair of sneakers. I always call people potential partners. Why would you want to take this away from them? Just like if you go to dinner with your date, right? You're on the first date. Which name? Josh. Josh. Josh takes out Sally. He says, Sally, I'll order for you. Um, she'll have the barbecued um, rodent. With a, with a side of uh, old greens yep. and some sour milk. Yeah, that's what she'll have. She's like, what do you need? Well, I just ordered it for you. I know what you want. How would that go over? She'd get up, she's gone. Yeah. So why should we decide for others what they need? Okay, now that brings us to a big, big point. Okay, Donna, I'm following you. I agree. It's about the other person. It's about this kind of thing. It's about families. What do I do? Right, what do I do? How do I do exactly that? Well, I got something for you. Yes. I got the way to do this. Okay, so we teach this, and this is free course. And it's a three-way thing. Here's how it works. All you got to remember is these three words. B-E-I-N-T, which stands for interview. And I'll tell you about what these things mean. Here's how this thing flows. It's a simple process. Whenever I meet somebody, I don't say I have a product for you. I say, let me tell you where I was before this company, Enagic, touched my life. I, this is my, what we call BE, before Enagic story. Just this is what my problem was. Okay? So I'm going to tell you a real freaking story right now. Don Prosser before Enagic. I had come to America, had a family, we moved here from, Florida, uh, from Hawaii. I was teaching university over there, totally bored. I got involved with a Japanese company that sold textile. Sexy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, real sexy. We were importing big rolls of um, textile, and Japanese textile was really high grade. And we would sell it to American companies, market up, and make clothing out of it. 
we made a boatload of money. Matter of fact, way too much. It was me and another partner. It was boring. I was burning out. I wasn't using my talents. I was drinking too much. I probably wasn't all that happy to be around. So what's my issue? Dead, bored, uh, lifestyle, lack of fulfillment. You can see where Don's going with this, right? Yeah. Don's not getting better. Don's um, rotting on the vine. Okay? Now, before I tell you what happened after in magic, tell me about your life. Tell me about what's happening in your life. Tell me about which of these three areas, if you could change, which would you change? One, two, or three? Now, why didn't I just jump to the after and after story? Here's my before story, here's my after story. It's all about you. It's all about, who said that? Yes. If I had just done this and this, you don't matter. You don't matter. I'm just Tony Robbins, all up on stage talking about me, me, me. And you either copy me or you extrapolate something out of me. That's too hard to do. So before I jump to the after anatic story, I get to know you. Why didn't I just jump to this? Hi, how you doing? Tell me what's wrong with you. <laughs> He's going to say, whoa, 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 I don't know you. No rapport. Well, you didn't I have no rapport. I have no connection. Yeah. He's going to be like, uh, I'm fine. Right? Everything's cool. And they won't, they won't, they won't be genuine with you. And they won't be vulnerable with you. If you ever want to read a great book on vulnerability, uh, Brene Brown writes the mm -hmm. best book ever on vulnerability is actually strength. Yes. Fantastic work. Look up her. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, she's got a YouTube. Look up Brene Brown vulnerability. Fantastic talk. What is it present? Uh, interview. We're going to interview people. Get good at interviewing people. If you can get things out of them by gently talking to them, not forcing a product on them, get good at this stage. We have a whole course in this free on just how to do this. How to interview folks. Yeah, yeah. before and after. Yeah. So before and after, after and after. Now, once I get to this stage and he says, you know, Don, I want to change this, this, this. Wonderful, great. Let me tell you what happened after and after. You wouldn't believe, man. My life got more fulfilling. I started finding out I was meeting these great friends. Boy, my finances improved. Drinking the best water in the world, so my body is good. Boy, my life really changed. The less I talk about physical health, the more I talk about life change, he will get closer and closer to me, little by little. But if the only thing you have right here is a medical testimonial, I used to have stage 19 cancer, drank one cup of Congo water, now I don't have it anymore. <laughs> That's it. Unless you have cancer, so what? So your story here can't be just your testimony. It's too limited. Try talking to the younger people nowadays. Well, your arthritis is going to go away. It's like, what arthritis? Yeah, I have arthritis. Yeah, but it'll go away. It's going to go away. And he's like, but I don't have it. And you're like, wow, that's all I got. I got nothing else. I have nothing else to offer. But even a younger guy like himself could talk to somebody my age of 51, and he could say how much his life changed. Give me insight on how my life can change. And his age doesn't matter. It's that he did it. Don, can you please explain for a 1A or 2A how does that work? How does it work? What's the, what's for, the for someone who's a 1A and haven't seen a real Yeah, success. cool. Let, let's just, uh, you're brand new. Robert's brand new. Don, I don't have any AE story yet. Awesome, Robert. Let me tell you, you do, but you don't know it yet. Because you do have a dream about what you want to change, right? I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. So you're going to point that out. Now, this guy's not going to believe it because he doesn't know you. So you're going to use me, your upline. We're going to do a three-way, and you're going to borrow my story because you're, you're pitching her. And you're going to say, well, you know, I don't have all these changes yet, but let me get somebody on the phone who does. And let me get Don on the phone because he so inspired me to change my life. You're going to borrow my story. Right? You're going to say, this happened. Or you're going to borrow Cynthia's story, or somebody that really did it. That's why the three-way is so vital. So vital. You don't have to be the cream of the crop. You can borrow it. Can you imagine if you could do that anything in your life? I don't know anything about mechanics, but hey, I got a mechanic on the phone. Let me have him talk with you. Or I don't know anything about finance. I got my accountant on the line. Or I have my psychologist or my doctor. What if you could do that with any skill? In an adjective, you can, because the skill is success. You're just bringing somebody on the phone who already has it.
And if, and if they're really good, they won't say, yes, I'm a pro et, um, networker, I have a PhD, I studied in college for 19.6 <laughs> years, uh, because then the other person will think, oh man, I can't do that, that's too hard. So they should get on the line and say, listen, I'm nobody from nowhere. I just worked hard, I listened, I cared about people. Matter of fact, if I can do it, I'm sure you can do it. So what's the name of the game? Give the other person confidence. Give the other person confidence. You can do it too. But if you are all high and mighty, and yes, I, I will deign to talk to you, I will take my, you know, my, I'm actually sitting in my Lamborghini right now, I've just got off the yacht, where we had, you know, <laughs> champagne, <laughs> I can relate to that. So be relatable, be your common person, right? That's what it's all about. And then this, this works. Now, th you're hearing this for 10 minutes, I know it's hard. I would recommend you come to one of our events. We'll talk about that later on where you can do all this. But this is the formula we're using. And people that, there's a course called Esprit. And it's just about to end this year. Magic, Success, Personal Relationship Ignition. Long word, I know, so it's about that. Magic, Success, Personal Relationship Ignition. This is the most important part, personal relationships. We studied everybody who's successful in Enagic. And we asked them, how did you get to be successful? We thought they would say, well, I studied Enagic. <coughs> I got to be a little bit successful. I made some friends. I got fired up. But the opposite worked. This was the beginning. Enagic didn't matter. What's the I stands again? Doug? Enagic, success, yeah. personal relation, ignition. ignition. To ignite. We found out the opposite was true. They had to know their why. They had to be fired up and want to do anything. And if you come to me and you say, Don, I am fired up. I don't care if you want to sell ionizers or sell iPhones or be the best track star. Unless you have this, what you're doing doesn't matter. So we found that first they got lit up. They knew their why. They knew their why. Then they worked on personal relationships. First and foremost, not product. They found some success. They just happened to put it toward us. Mm -hmm. They were nice. But you could take the same formula and put it toward your church, put it toward your civic organization, mm -hmm. put it toward your friends, a meetup group, whatever you want to do. But the method was starting at the bottom. That totally changed the magic. So we studied the people that came to Esprit. Most of them had a 20% closing rate. Mm -hmm. After six weeks in Esprit, they went to 80%. Eighty percent. That's how fast their team grew. Didn't change the product. Didn't change the comp plan. Didn't change anything. But their mindset. We just changed how they relate to people. And think that's all I care about. Right? I can't fix your car. I can't wire your house. I can't change your oil. I can't do any of that. All I've done for twenty-five years is just study how people relate. And I think people are awesome. Like if you disagree with me, I like you more. Because I want to find out why. I want to find out why do you think that. So when someone says, Don, I don't agree with you, I'm like, cool, you're going to be my best friend. We're going to get together really well. Because I'm interested in people. I love the changes, the depth, the variety. If that's something that you like, it's, an adjective will be fun. If you're looking for everybody to be the same as you and you just want to copy yourself, it's going to be a tough road. It's going to be hard. You're going to be very autocratic, right? And other people are not going to follow you. And I can show you a neat example. Stand up for just a second, if you want. Your name again was Benny, right? Yeah. Okay, Benny's Ooh, blind. Benny, Benny. 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 You meet blind Benny. Oh, that's good. You meet blind Benny. Okay. I meet blind Benny, and I would like to guide her down the street. Maybe there's some cracks in the sidewalk. There's a couple dogs. There's some stuff in the way. I want to guide her. Some people will guide like this. Hold my hand. Are you ready? Here we go. And just guide her this way. No. Me first. Do whatever I do. Some an ad distributor do that. They just <laughs> they just go blazing down the trail and expect this person just to follow me. And she doesn't matter. Her personal qualities, her attributes, her way of it doesn't matter. It's just I'm 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 better than you. That's that's the vision they give. Other people, other people, other people do this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna lead you where to go. What if there's a cliff? Yes. Yeah. 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 What's, yeah. yeah. What's the best way to guide a blind person? What's the best way? Okay, hold my hand. Side We're gonna walk side. together. Yes. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're safe with me. Right. So I reassure her about what's gonna happen. We go side. 
by side, that's the way to build your magic business. But if you drag people through the weeds oh or you God. push them like this, uh -huh. get ready for failure. Thank you very much, Betty. So how you build this business is as important as whatever you do. So think, of what, what's your style right now? Ask yourself, what am I doing to my people? When Robert comes in, I send him 80,000 PubMed reports. Oh, I need you to read all these, memorize them. And then here's your 15 PowerPoints. He's like, holy Moses. That's the, that's the, this style. Grab their hand and drag them. Right? This style is, you're on your own. See you later. Have a good one. Have you heard some of those people? Oh, yeah. The upline just abandons them. Right? As soon as that sale is made, they're like, next. But what if I said, Robert? What's the best way to approach this? How can I deal with you? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? How do you see yourself? So, Don, you know, I'm really motivated when people treat me this way. Okay? I really don't like when people treat me that way. Okay, I got it. I'm going to do that for you, Robert. What if it took five minutes of me getting to know Robert and I was able to empower him more? Do you think he's going to introduce me to his friends? Yeah. Do you think he's going to build a faster team? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I took five minutes to let him know I care. Right? But we're so busy being scientific and missing the caring. We're like, here's what you need. Here's the tools. You know the only tool he needs? A little bit of confidence and to know that I got his back. The rest we can make up as we go. Right? So if you think it's about the method, it's really not. Do you want to play a little game? Yeah. Time for a game. What time? What time do I have until? Um, well, it's eleven o'clock now, so. We have about half an hour. Break for lunch around twelve. Good. Okay, let's play a little game. Um, I need four people. Any four people? Just four people. Come on up. Can I move these chairs back just a tad? Oh. Okay. We're gonna play a game. So. Okay. So two people stand on this side and face me. You two guys are Robert and Aldrin. Aldrin. What are their names? Robert. Robert. Oh. Always make them feel important, right? Yes. I always ask people's names so that we revert. Hey, Robert. Hey, uh, Samantha. Hey, um, um, and you are Samantha and who else is Samantha? George. Okay. What, what's your name? Samantha and George. Okay. So Samantha and George are in New York. You're my New York team. You studs over here. You're in LA. Okay. You gotta get to New York for a business meeting for something. You guys gotta get you were LA, so you guys gotta get to LA. Here's how you play the game. You pick a method of transportation, any method you want, and then you act it out. You just say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a plane. As soon as he uses that, that's cut. It's nobody can use that method anymore. You gotta use a different method. So you're gonna start us. How would you get? I just gave it away, but how would you get? from L.A. to New York? Fly. Fly. Oh, it's a flyover. Well, just one of you. So you're there. Okay, so stand over here. He's in New York now. Now, you got to get to L.A., but you can't fly. Okay, you're going to drive. Okay, only one of you. Yep, only one of you. So she drove. Now, cars are out. What are you going to do? Hitchhike? You can hitchhike? Do it. Hitchhike. Okay. Now, that's out. What are you going to do? Amtrak. Amtrak. Okay, he's going to Amtrak. Now, what are you going to do? Oh, you're, you're up again, Russ. you got to get back over. Uh, you can pogo stick over, you can do whatever the heck you want. Yeah, okay, you're going to walk, good. Now walking's out. Bicycling. Bicycling. Um, boat. Boat, take a boat. Think of it, method, walk. right? Method, method, method. Uh, walk. <laughs> you can't walk, you already walked. What, what's it? Have a boat. Have a boat. Oh, yeah. oh no, you should be already here, use a boat. No, hoverboard, like... Oh, hoverboard! Okay, hoverboard. Okay, good. Uh, Uber. Uber. Uh -huh. Uber. Lips. Lips. Okay, how, 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 how do you get three over here? Oh, oh okay. Well, come on back over. <laughs> what are you going to use? Um, skateboard. Skateboard, okay, go. Mm -hmm. Gotta be quicker. Method of transportation. My turn? Oh. Mm -hmm. Train. Train? Train, yeah. go. Train, train, train. Which one? Rocket. Rocket? Rocket. Rocket. Helicopter. Helicopter, good. Light carpet. Air balloons. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Okay. Okay. Last one. Okay, air balloon. Okay. If we kept going, they could get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of methods, right? Right. Now, all the methods are gone. You have the... Do you have a brother or sister? Mm -hmm. You're... Which one? Brother. You have a brother. 
Your brother's in New York. I don't know how you're going to get there, but you have the only kidney in the world to save his life. How are you going to get there? Any way possible. Any way possible. You see the difference between method and purpose? Now his purpose is so big, he will find a way to get there no matter what. So thank you for that. Have a seat. My purpose there to show you is you're looking for methods. You're looking to copy Romy. You're looking to copy this next best sales technique. It won't get you there. Right. It won't. Any method will work anywhere on the face of the earth. But if you don't know this, if you're not in this for real, this was his purpose, right? He had the one kidney to give to his sibling. You will walk across glass. You will drag yourself across minefields to get that done. The people who are most successful have the biggest thing here. And if you can spend this weekend and figure that out, Don, what do I really want in life? You know what? I never really sat down and thought about it. I wanted peace in my life. I'm an ex-sniper. I was in the Army. There's no aftermarket for snipers. You don't get out of the military and go into commercial sniping. It's not, it's not an occupation. Right? I wanted to really change my life to stop being that guy. If you had met me 20 years ago, you would have hated me. You would have said, I want nothing to do with you. It's deep, dark. I, number one, I would have hated all of you. I would have hated you. I would have wanted nothing to do with you. Because of my, I was very deeply disturbed. Right? Hated interaction with people. Fast forward 20 years later, got a PhD in psychology. Absolutely love people. Your stuff is the most interesting thing in the world to me, more than me. If we sat down to talk, I would spend 20 minutes getting to know you, you'd get two minutes out of me. I would really make you feel listened to. That's the key to magic. Listen a lot more. Listen to what they're saying. And sometimes listen to what they're not saying, right? Listen to what they're not saying. But if you let them open up, they will show you the road to that item, attention, interest, desire, action. Yes, what do you mean by listen to what they're not saying? Listen to what they're not saying. So if you're, if you're interviewing me and I keep saying, well, you know, I really like this device. Yeah, the problem is, you know, I've got two kids in college and man, my wife was just uh, let go. But I really like this water. I'm really looking forward to drinking it. But you know, money's been tight for a long time. But you know that 2.5? That, that, that's, I really like that stuff. What am I not saying? <laughs> What I'm, not, what I'm not saying is, I need your comp plan yesterday. Yeah. I need it. You need to help me financially. Financially. Right? You need to help me financially. Or, yeah, you know, I don't get along with my friends anymore, but yeah, I think I can introduce you to a couple of them. Well, my relationships are messed up. Right? So, so think of it in those three buckets physical health, financial health, and relationship health. I think all three of us want to improve all of those areas. How do you help them with relationship? Relationship help? Think about it. When we come into an attic, what's the first thing you do? You meet, you meet new people. Yeah, you meet new people. You're a prime example. What happened to you and your husband? What did you do to me two years ago when you came into the company, and what did you say your husband thought about an attic? He hated it. He hated it. And what did I say your new vision board was going to be? You had a vision board and it had a house and a boat and the travels and guinea pigs and I don't know what had happened. Retiring him. Yeah, and we said we're going to take a picture of your husband. We're going to put it right in the center. And her new vision board was going to be to fire her husband. Get it? Fire. Not from her marriage. No. Fire her husband. Fire her husband. Liberate her husband. Free her husband from his job. That became her why. Remember that why down here? The ignition? No, she just said, Don, I want to study the machine. I want to sell a bunch of this, that, and the other thing. I want to you know, study PubMed. Your husband doesn't matter. She put her husband, I hope you did, right? Right? She put her husband at the center of the vision board. Now he's totally on board. He's able to work this. They're booming. But it's it's what she did emotionally, not what she did cognitively. She didn't go learn a bunch of facts and go to a Zig Ziglar closing thing. She didn't study how to, you know, trick people and how to move products. None of that. She put her husband at the center of her life. Right? Do you think she's going to go overboard, above board, around corners, through minefields for her husband? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I definitely know she would. Because it's her husband. 
right? It's the most important guy in the whole world to her. She's going to do a lot. You got to decide what's at the center of your vision board. And if you don't have one, make one. They're free. Okay. Start making a vision board. It can change. So how do you do that with people? How do you convince them that they're going to make friends in an adjective? You bring them to something exactly like this. I think distributors getting together with other distributors and doing a water demo is a joke. It's a complete joke. You get a bunch of water, you get a bunch of Enagic distributors together. The first thing they do is a demo. I'm like, why? I <laughs> said, you're all drinking the Kool-Aid. Why in the world are you doing a water demonstration? We should be talking about closing and relationships and influencing people in different markets and you know exchanging ideas. But to get a bunch of distributors together and say, okay, who's gonna demo? I'm like, but I think that's the way you've been trained. Yeah, that's the yeah, change your water, right? Don't say they change your uh, vitamins. True, true. But I know that there are people who have come into Enagic that really are not water snobs, right? They came into Enagic. Talk to somebody. Um, gosh, a girl by the name of Tony Banks. Is there any pictures of Tony here? Uh, Maybe yeah, there's probably some. Yeah, there's a couple probably pictures. Now Tony was homeless. She passed away a couple years ago, unfortunately. Oh, okay. um, Six eight two three. Tony Banks. <laughs> Yeah, she passed away a couple years ago. But she was homeless. She was homeless. I mean, like, living on the floor, four kids, bouncing from family to family to family who would take her in. And she was homeless. Her husband was out of work. I'll tell you, when they came into an adjunct, they borrowed the money to come in on a huge gamble. That was a big risk. Do you think they were going to make it work? Of course. They were hungry. I think we got lazy. Our hunger, wherever that hunger was, that burning desire in your belly, uh, became satiated. We live a very comfortable life here in America. We have everything we need. But if all of you had your apartment taken away, your house taken away, your bank account liquidated tomorrow, your health in danger, your spouse left you, you would change. You would change. So imagine your seat right now. You're sitting on a pretty semi-comfortable seat right now, right? Imagine if you're sitting on barbed wire. <laughs> Would you get up and move? Yeah. Yeah. I, I gotta be the guy to tell you, you are sitting on barbed wire right now. In your life, you're sitting on barbed wire. And if, and if you're comfortable with it, and you got holes in your butt, and you you know stand up, drink coffee and water flows out of your butt, you know, and you got, you got holes, it's not my fault. Right? But I'm the guy to tell you, you, you have been sitting on barbed wire, it's just you got comfortable with it. It's time to stop accepting that. It's time to say, I'm tired of living the potential life that I know I could be up there, but I'm not maximizing. And get hungrier. Super get hungrier. Why didn't we have this event in the Marriott? Or the Hilton or the Double Trip? Why are you here in her house? Think about that. Why? Because she's a kid. She's personal. Don't you want this? Yes. Don't you want the success? Yes. This is a physical emanation of what success could look like. Right? That's that's psychologically done on purpose to get you in the mode of thinking, I deserve this. Who is Cynthia? She's a regular nice person. Immigrant comes over to America, hits it big, has a dream, wants to live the American dream, learns English, becomes an American citizen. I can do that. Well, not, I am already an American citizen. I already speak English. How come I can't do that? Aren't you starting to think that way? Mm -hmm. Say, wow, mm -hmm. I can do that too. That's why I think she's a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Because whatever your excuse is, well, I can't do it because I'm from Malaysia. She's from the Philippines. Well, I can't do it because I don't speak fluent English. Neither does she. I can't do it because I don't have any background in that. Neither does she. Whatever you say, mm -hmm. she's already done it. There's no excuse. There's nothing you can say that would prevent it. We have somebody who's deaf who comes to the magic office uh, once or twice a week. She can do it as a deaf woman. Yeah. She signs the entire thing. It's amazing. Yeah. She's no, no limitations. I had someone who was blind. Yeah, and oh, they did the business. Yeah. And yeah. it took him an hour and a half to get to the magic there. And then it took him three days to just install the machine. But he, mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, he's more vested than all of us are because he had some trial to go through. And I do think, and I think I'll close with this. Remember that um, strategy we just talked about here before an adjunct, interview, after an adjunct? Let me tell you a cool secret. Let me tell you a cool secret. 
seventy percent of what you say is up here that's going to influence people. When they hear what you've been through, they will be much more influenced than the success you found here. The most common denominator for all humans, what do you think it is? Okay. Yeah, pain and sadness. It's not success. Success is what we want to talk about. Guarantee. What's your favorite song? Think of your favorite song. I guarantee it's probably something sad. You know, you always listen to a country song. Yeah. I lost my dog. <laughs> Sadness bonds people. When you get together, you kind of talk about what you've been through, don't you? Yes. Right? Sadness bonds people. But success drives people. So this is what's going to bond people, your before story. So if the only thing you got is, well, you used to have arthritis. What's wrong with you? I drank Congo water. Now I don't have arthritis anymore. It's weak. It's weak. Matter of fact, it's illegal too, according to the FTC. You can't give a medical license. Like you say. Even if it's your own, it's still illegal. You say, but it happened to me. I didn't write the rules, nor do I want to. Anyways, just having a one, if this is your own, if this is your testimonial, just that, mm -hmm. just your body, to me that's not enough. Mm. You're an incomplete human. You're not actualized. You, don't, you, don't, haven't, you haven't reached your potential. Fill it in, babe. Put in that financial aspect. Put in that body aspect. Put in that relationship aspect. Be an awesome person. Everybody wants to emulate. They want to be you. Right, look at Cynthia. She's making friends all over the world, building team members. Obviously, financially, she has it going on. And obviously, she's getting in shape. She's in much better shape than she was ever before. Right? She's drinking water. She's taking care of her health. She's being proactive. So that should be a huge hint to you. People bond with this part. So if you're going to spend time talking with people, concentrate here. You've got to have a conundrum, an issue. My issue was I was deep, dark, and bored. I was going nowhere in life. Mr. Oshiro changed my life. Now remember, when I came into a magic, I didn't care about the water. I gave a hoot less about it. Right? Didn't really care about it. I can't even do the business, right? I'm not a distributor, so I can't take advantage of the money. What really closed me was Mr. O's heart. Mm -hmm. I actually offered it. I said, I'll work under you for free. You just mentor me. He said, no, it wouldn't work that way. He said, let me ask you, what have you not done yet? And I started pointing out things I didn't do. He said, why don't you come into a Natchez? We don't have that role. We'll make it for you. Most people say, how fast can you type? What are your skills? They interview you for those things, right? He asked, what have you not done yet? Mm -hmm. That's how he thinks. Oh, yeah. That's how he yeah. thinks. Not what you can do for me. Mm. He's thinking, what do you want? I'll give it to you. Mm. you so, gotta be that that's so awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so, so he, how, how many he, people? Yeah, yeah he said, what have you not done yet? Oh, what do you yeah. still have yet left yeah, to do? Whatever that is. Are you hungry or thirsty? If you say, I'm thirsty, I'll give you some water. If you're hungry, I'll give you some food. But why should I decide? Well, I know you're hungry. Here. He said, no, no, I'm just parched. I want to drink. No, 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 eat this. <laughs> so he wasn't deciding for me. He was asking, what do you need to have happen in your life? What do you want? Whatever that is, I'll deliver it. Okay. What if you could be the person, you walk up to anybody on the face of the world, you said, what do you need? He said, I need a wrench. Just pull out a wrench. Here. I need friends. Just pull out friends. But it puts so much responsibility on your shoulder. And you know that use, use the rest of us. Use your upline. Always call on other resources. I don't think any of us can do this alone. No, but yes. yes, being is saying that I deliver to you is just a bit of, if they don't have that potential. Okay. Well, it, let's let's test it. Let's it's test it. Really, you know. Okay, let's test it. How about you pick anybody in this room so that I didn't plan it? You pick anybody in this room, ask them their biggest desire in the world, and I'll tell you how a magic can deliver it. Uh, anybody, and I that way it's not planned. You can pick anybody in the room. You, uh, him. Which one? In the. Todd, Todd. Wait, no. okay. Todd, if you could, if you could change any aspect of your life, I, I mean, I've known Todd on Facebook, but we've never actually met, and I really don't know much about your life, so I'm not prepared. I don't have anything on my sleeve. Anything in your life that you need to change, I guarantee, as your upline, I can deliver. Anything. You say you want a new wife. You say you want a new dog. Whatever you want. Okay. How much do you need? How soon do you need? I want to be at 100,000 a year within two or three months. I want to okay. Then I need probably 20 to 30 hours a week of your time with me 
we're going to nose to the grindstone, we'll make you 100K. Mm -hmm. I've seen people do it. Now, I'm not just making that up, right. but I know people have done it. I'm going to copy what they did. We're going to be very, very aggressive. He didn't pick, I need a thousand a month. Okay, I need a couple hours a week. Right? He said, I need 100K a year. Right? All I got to get is the 5A. And that's about 100K a year. I just got to give you the 5 And matter of fact, you don't have to sell 51 units. We have to recruit a team of 51 people. And how we're going to do it is using that IDA. But first, but first, before we go, I need to concentrate on this. What do you need that money for? My 15-year-old son is really uh, lost me. Uh -huh. and I can see how that's Put him to a college. Okay, put him to a college. Okay, close your eyes. He's walking across the stage for your university. You're in the crowd. You're cheering him on. He's just graduated. It's the proudest moment of your life. He's about to go off into the next stage of his life. You've done all of that through money that you earned in an ad. What's that going to feel like? Awesome. What? And i got to get him into that feeling. He's got It's got to bubble up from inside of him. Then, then I started here. I got him ignited. Now, we're going to sell nuclear weapons. He doesn't care. He's like, I need to make that 100K. Now, whether we sell these things, whether we sell nuclear weapons, it doesn't matter. But I started at this level. I understand that. Yeah. It's to, in, to get him into the business. Uh -huh. But then, if you are committed to that $100,000 a year, what would you do? in order to get him there in three months. But here's the secret. He's going to make about this much, right? Don is going to make about this much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm his uncle. Okay. I'm as committed as he is. So now I don't got to worry about him doing all the work. I'm now your best partner in life. You and I are going to make a fantastic team because I'm in the great too. Yes, it's right. happiness for Don too. That's yeah, network marketing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit down and talk about strategy. Mm -hmm. right, we're going to keep building this every single day. I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about, once I get to know his charm point, I'm going to talk about your son for the next 12 months. Right? You're never going to hear me not mention him. Remember that graduation? Remember your son? What's his name? Tanner. Tanner. So I would be using Tanner in about every fifth sentence. Hey, we're going to do this for Tanner. Hey, how's Tanner today? What's he doing today? I'm going to keep that rolling. That's called mnemonics. When you use one word over and over and over to implant an idea in his mind. It's like the hot spot. Yeah, the hot spot. Hot spot. It's, it's, yeah. It, for you, it was your husband. Every time you came into the office, I asked you, how's your husband? How's he doing? I would talk about your husband. All, matter of fact, today was the first thing I asked you. I said, I'm going to sit with you because I want that strategy. I yeah. want everybody to but, learn but that But the strategy. first question I asked is, where's yeah. your husband? Yeah. yeah. Even today, I'm asking about her husband. Every time I see you, from now until eternity, I'm going to talk about your husband. You see him more than you see I know, him. I know, I see him. But I don't ever ask him, how's your wife? <laughs> I know it is. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm So do you see the difference? Yeah. This is a change. And if you're interested in real success, I mean epic success, if you just want to move a couple see, devices for really months, just want to have fun with that head. But you can have it. You can actually have it here. And you don't have to change anything you're doing now. All you do is add to it. Some people have gone through my esprit course and said, Don Prosser teaches us to hate the water. Oh my God, that's not true. That is not true. What Don Prosser does is he says, you guys are taxi drivers. Okay? You guys are all taxi drivers and you have a Ferrari. I don't know why you drive a Ferrari or a taxi, but you have a Ferrari. And you currently have two gears, first and second. You're doing very well in first and second gear. Well, you probably get to about 80 in a Ferrari in first and second. You're picking up people, taking them around town, making a lot of money. Along comes ingenious Don and says, whoa, 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 wait a minute. There's a third, fourth, fifth, and sixth gear in this puppy. Let's go have some fun. So I'm not taking the water away from you. I'm adding the other two-thirds. Wow. I'm giving you back what you were deceived by. You were, you were supposed to be taught this 10 years ago. You 
you were supposed to have been taught all three counts. Something happened where we just focused on this. There was talk about um, this is in hospitals, it's a medical device, all this nonsense, right? It is not in hospitals. It is not a medical device, right? There's only one reason it's a medical device in Japan. That's because of the 2.5 pH water that you don't drink anyways. The drinking water is not medically listed anywhere. They used it for this. So stop talking about that. It's not, it's not true. It's ethically not the right thing to do. And it's minor because it's only one part. But if you want to influence people, influence them on the whole story. I'm just giving you third, fourth, and fifth gear back. And why is it that's what we, that's what we came to the business with, that this is a medical device? But even the yep. presentation we had... I agree. Had the yeah. I agree. Do you know why? Do you know why that was put in the presentation? Why? Because the original people were weak closers, and that's all they could close with. Yeah. Now well, they're strong closers. Do you think Cynthia's talking about medical devices? No. no. She's talking about changing your life. She changed, too. She found a more powerful way, and it had to do with heart to heart. I changed. That's what <laughs> Cynthia's talking about, is heart to heart. How can I impact your specific life? Because Mr. Oshiro once told me, this is the highest currency in the world. That's worth more than anything to him in the world. He gets so many thank yous a day. When people see him on stage, what's the first thing they say? Thank you, thank you for introducing either Kangen Water or Enagic to me. He gets millions of these. He said he will never get tired of hearing that word. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Over and over and over. That's your future currency. Hey, Don, isn't it about, because because you're talking about, uh, you know, relationship, once we do that, what you're doing, and it's to this young lady over here, you're building a team. So you have a team, you have so many people that can help you, even if it's, you know, even if it's one person, you have so many people that have stories that can help, you know. So, like Don was saying, it's, it's about, you know, it really is, it's about relationships, because if you don't build a relationship with somebody, how are you going to build a team? You don't have a team. No, I understand that, yeah. but it's the promise that you give them. Um, that when they come in with that vision, right. and then when you cannot deliver it, it's heartbreaking. Then, and then, uh, then yeah, we call them on support. Yeah, no. yeah, none of that's, us are going to be able to do this alone. Be, yeah. I, yes, I have mentors exactly. in my life, that's what I was going yeah. and I would say just feel confident enough to either turn right. to me, to other leaders, somebody's going to help you. Yes. There's people yes, in this sir, room that are going to help me out. Relationship. I'm going to call that's upon you for something. Yeah, just be there for me. So, yeah. this is kind of it in a nutshell. I just want to close with something. Close with something. Here's how to make it happen. So, I opened up by talking about, you know, it's not all about water. We went through this thing called Ida. We learned about relationships, right? Attention, interest, desire, action. You got a lot of information now. You found out there's another way to do things. You're like, okay, now, how do I change? How do I do this? I'm just going to go back to one simple thing. If you could do this for yourself tonight or tomorrow, I mean after you get all this done, think about what your BE story is. Think about your AE story and then study that. Think about saying, you know, what is my BE story? Who was I before I came to an Oh, What were my issues? And try to find out which one of those three buckets your issues fell into. Was it physical health? Now most of you say, I got in for the water. I'm going to trick you. I'm going to say, no, you didn't. I'm going to challenge that. Most of you say, I came in for the health. But whatever health condition you did have, I guarantee negatively impacted these two. You can tell me that you came in for the water, but I guarantee whatever you had probably impacted your relationships negatively. Probably impacted your ability to make money for your family negatively. So you really came in for all three. Right. That's what you got to brand this way. Now I got it. If your story is all about health, then you're then okay. You're probably going to you can talk to 33 percent of the world. Why? Why talk to 33 percent of the world? I want to, I want to talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're alive. If you're dead, we'll dig you up. You know, whatever. <laughs> I want to talk to 100 percent of people. Don't you? Don't you want 100% of everybody you meet to be potential? Yes. Yes. Or you're going to say, healthy, healthy, sick. Okay. Healthy, healthy, sick. Okay. It's too limited. I talk to all people, healthy or sick otherwise. Why do you think most of the people are now talking about proactive health? I have never drank, I'm in better shape now at 51 than I was at 21. I've been drinking Kanye water for 10 years. 
I'm doing it so I don't end up like your clients. <laughs> right? I don't want to end up sick. So for me, it's proactive. And I was just thinking, it's actually the financial problem a lot of times that you, you end, end up sick. Yeah. Right? It's the well, you know, I work 58 hours a week. I don't see my wife at all. Boy, we're making plenty of money, but I'll tell you, I'm so burned out. I haven't seen my wife in, in years. And I have acid so, reflux. Yeah, I have acid reflux because of all that. But I got a lot of money. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you have bad relationships, it actually makes so, Yeah, so how happy are you? So if you guys can work on this tonight, say, okay, what really, what is my before and magic story? How captivating is it? Is it powerful enough? Then learn some interviewing skills. You know, you got to segue between these things. You can't just go from here to here. This is where magic people are weak. They say, yeah, I was all messed up, blah, 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 blah. And then I found kind of water and this happened. They, they cut the person out. You've got to segue to them, make it about them. And then, what I would say, and then I found in magic. Every time you want to say Kanye water, put the word in magic in place of it. Mm -hmm. You will recruit better. Every time you say, and then I found the water, and then, just say, and then I found the magic. Because every time you say water, you're talking about 33% of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. This whole thing is an magic. This tiny piece here is Kanye kind of water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're spouting so much about one third of the puzzle, and we're turning people off. Right? Remember the best way to get to know you is to vibrate at your frequency. Right? Be a chameleon. Be a chameleon. If I mirror her, whatever she wants, whatever she needs, how she thinks, is she going to... Hmm? What did you change? Oh, I just blew my eyes. Change your water, change your shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? It's pretty good? Pretty good. Okay. So I would study this and then go test drive it. On another distributor, not a potential client. Don't go testing this on potential clients. I would spend an hour a day brushing this up so it is professional level. Right? Then go use it. And now I got a new asset. I got a new way to go to bat. Watch your team grow. But don't take this lightly. Be very good at it. If you want pointers on it, we actually have a face group, Facebook group called the Esprit Experience. Join it. People share their ideas. They share how they do this. It's called the Esprit Experience. Where is going to be the next one? Uh, well, the next one is um, in two weekends in, I think I'm going to Vancouver. Where am I going? Uh, in LA? Well, next week is And you think of LA? And then, well, we, we're going to make one in LA very soon. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like one in your area of the woods, just contact me. Just write to marketing. I, I wanted it three years ago. ago. Yeah, let's do it now. Let's make it. Yeah, I went there next, last, last year. Well, we're probably going to have 75 to 100 people. Right? I, I, I can fit 200, 500 okay. people. I don't care. All right. But 200 people, you can do it in my house. Let's do it. But let's, do it. let's plan a day today. Okay. Wow. After this, we'll sit down and get a date. Yeah, we'll come. Can we come too? <laughs> so please, if you can test drive this and get it down, you have a brand new way of marketing. You still can do water demos for the people that need that demo. Because once I find out what you need here, then I know whether I have to demo the water, the comp plan, or team building. I think you need three demos. You've been deceived. When you hear the word demo, you think it's here. Whenever I hear the word demo, I say, which one? Um, right? Somebody tells me that somebody's drinking medicine, I say, for what? Right? Your stomach, your head, your liver. Mm -hmm. Tailor make it for that person. Again, you guys are in the art of relationships. And the better you are at creating that relationship, making sure the other person feels valued, feels connected, and you will close 100% of the people. And your only job is to liberate people. That's your real job. Which, which jail are they in? Which jail? Which jail are you in? What do you think right now? Which jail is most confining for you? Where are you trapped? Yeah. If she's in financial jail, why am I going to demo the water to her? The first thing I'm going to do is get to desire with you. Your name is? Bailey. I'm going to talk about Bailey. What's going to happen when you start making that money? What are you going to do with it? She's going to create a vision in her mind. Yeah, Don, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. Boom. Teach her how to leverage this, and away we go. So find out what you need, build a desire for it, and then deliver it. It's, it's simple but hard. I get it. But you guys have got to see desire as a good thing. Your desires will liberate you. Right now your desire is constraining you. 
you want more money but you're not getting it, what's that, we call that cognitive dissonance. Mm -hmm. I want one thing but I can't have it. That's, in psychology, that's cognitive dissonance. I want it but I don't got it. What's that called? Stress. stress. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's stress. <laughs> so right now, the most important thing to Bailey in the whole world is probably causing her the most stress. Yeah. What if I come into her life and say, I'm going to take that away? You think we'll make good partners? Yeah. What if I come into her life and say, we're going to sell a lot of kind of water machines and you guys study biology? She's like, uh, yeah, no. it's, not my, it's not my cup of tea, Don. Yeah. Don't need that. Uh -huh. So deliver what they need, not what we need. Because yeah. if I come on to Baylor real kind of, and she's like, oh, but Don's getting money out of me. I'm, I'm just somebody in his team. Then it's about Don. Do you think Baylor will feel that? Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. So Don is using me. Nobody wants to feel that way, right? They're being used. So just find out the desire, deliver on it, figure this thing out, and today's been good for you. And then this afternoon you're going to hear about Cynthia's way of team building. Take both of those things, put it together. So here's the kind of the nuts and bolts of how to get into people's hearts. Because right now we've been up here in their minds with these real hard, you know, scientific discussions and this kind of stuff. Just get back into this level. Boom, your team is built. What do you think? Awesome. You like? Yeah. Awesome. 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 But I gotta have something pretty big here, you know. Like, hey, I was a single mother. I was trying to raise these kids all on my own. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of money. It was causing me a ton of stress. Um, I didn't have any time. I'm jetting around my kids, you know. And before I tell you what really happened, how I liberated myself, tell me about you. Well, thanks, Sally. You know, I'm kind of in a similar situation. My husband's out of work. Money's tight. But you know what? He's just never got the energy he used to have. Wonderful, Sally. Let me tell you what happened in that. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Right. So it's relatable, we have some connection, and I told her about a problem that will solve. A problem that will solve. So VE interview AE, lights up. What do you think? Yes. Yeah, so I think we're going to wait for lunch. Um, I know there's lunch upstairs. If you have any questions, we'll talk during lunch. But thanks very much for listening, guys.